So there we have the first process of growing the grass crop is the application of the fertilizer. And now just coming up in front of the ground sand is the second process of the hay making procedures. So then it's a little line one here sorry wire and I can only tie it in Jandari Guayama a Kansa Hosimba Eva in Jandari Guayer McCormick theory Hosimba goes in the runway in the gear the old old standard Watson is a very remarkable factor it's the first factor commercially produced really that was of what we call uniform construction it has the engine gearbox and the back axle in one unit. And the thing about Moa is quite an interesting one, is that it was built in 1939. Uh, very few of these were built because obviously the war had an effort, had an effect on the production. It was probably not no introduction. We've all seen hundreds of these over the years. And again, the one in the middle has a trailing mower. And the second way probably has a mounted mower. So these are a lot, a lot better and more maneuverable in the crop. And of course, so, so much easier to travel on the road. So I'll hand it back now to him to talk about the John Deere with the mowers falling on behind. Thanks, Will. Yeah, so we're in front of the grandstand now. We have the John Deere 6155R with the front and back John Deere low conditions. Uh, so just some key facts about this tractor. It's the second biggest tractor we've got on this day here. So it's a 6.6 ton. Has a carries fuel tank of 312 litres. Uh, 155 horsepower, boost 795. And unlike the previous one, the tractor this one is a six cylinder. Um, different to the older motors here, this one has a conditioner on it. And the conditioner works by helping help to remove the wax coating on the crop to have moisture stay unobstructed. The conditioned crop forms a large fluffy windows which allows air to circulate, promoting even faster drive. Overall, the buying process is so fast and significantly reduces the risk of the crop getting rained on. Washing out the nutrients. <laughs> ultimately, you get a uh, much better quality crop. Thanks, Will. Yeah, so this is the John Deere 6155. Turned over, and then we have the Massey 145, the red tractor with the blue Bamford side brick falling on behind. These were produced from about 1954, and it's sold over, over 30,000 of these were produced, and they're very, very common on farms in the 50s and 60s here on NBC. Now you can see how it's working. It's what we call a long drive machine. So the way that the turning of the mechanism works is that it's driven by the turning of the wheels of the machine. Very simple process, but obviously you need very strong wheels in order to work effectively. So we just take a look at the size of the thing, ladies and gentlemen. It's about what they put wide and compare it to the machine that's going on behind it, which is John Deere and the loader. And I'll uh, let, let, let uh, him talk to you about that machine. Yeah, so here we have the John Deere 6120M, which was introduced in 2019. Uh, it's been a huge success for us, especially here in North Wales. It's got a great loader factor, nice and compact size, with its open family, it's great for this day to see in on the factor of the year, the 2022, the best utility factor. And this factor is 5.68 turns with 205 litres of fuel tank. Thank you, Hugh. So we're on to the tether. 
this is a huge machine, a big wide machine that can sit on the back of that gun here. So the tether still has the same job as that of the blue machine in front of it. It's job is to spread the gas all over the field, nice and thin and evenly, so the sun and the wind can do what they need to do. Um, those machines will make from about 5 metres right up to uh, 16 metres there and back. So, same job, just wider and wider to improve workability and time and reduce the cost of the car. The machines range in price anywhere from £7,000 up to about £40,000. And we'll be looking at a few of the models, all the way to the day where we're looking at the car. So, there's now the perfect box. is to collect the grass into a nice big slot so that the paver can bail it out. So going back to the 50s and 60s again, we have the Massey high 50 along with the silver cap and what we call a bike pump after that or side rig on the back. So this machine would collect the grass from two windows as they call them, from two rows into one so that the, the, the bailer could then go through the world quicker and more fortunate air noise so that they'll start while they can carry on the towel and we have a display here of small hay bales behind that uh, massive 590 tractor and that's what the turning is going by and have to load them physically one by one onto the trailer On top of the hay bales we have a, a pit stop. We have this one where you see it's from here, but uh, most of the bales were loaded by a pit stop. They have really strong lads, they could load them up one by one. I think I get two men with two pit stops with pit stops loading them up. We're going to need them to load them down here where we have that pit trailer. I can then also place it down the end of three four bales. To the one here one. So the John Deere is now reversing and it's going to grab the bale and you can just see that it has a the prongs on it won't damage the wrap on the bale. It just gets hold of it, squeezes it gently, and then lifts it up and then So there we have the first process of growing the grass crop is the application of the fertilizer and now just coming up in front of the grandstand is the second process of the hay making procedures so then it's a little lion one here sorry choir and like a many dyer in jambari choir a kamsa kosimba eva in jambari choir the public theory for St. Arthur's Gross and Devour with the Idiot. The old standard Fortson is a very remarkable tractor. It's the first tractor commercial for the industry that was of what we call uniform construction. It has the engine, gearbox, and the back axle in one unit. And the thing about the world is quite an interesting one is that it was built in 1939. Many of these were built because obviously the war had an effect, had an effect on the production. We didn't have a standard quality. They were clearly not no inspection. We've all seen hundreds of these over the years. And again, the one in the middle has a trailing lower. And the 
Secondly, Goldie has a man signaller, so these are a lot, a lot better and more manoeuvrable in the park and of course so, so much easier to travel on the road. So I'll hand it back now to him to talk about the John Deere with the mowers falling on behind. Thanks, Will. Yeah, so going in front of the grandstand now, we have the John Deere 61555 with the front and back John Deere low conditions. Uh, so just some key facts about this tractor. It's the second biggest tractor we've got on this way here. It's a 6.6 ton. Has a carry fuel tank of 312 litres. Uh, 155 horsepower, boost 195. Um, and unlike the previous John Deere tractor, this one is a six cylinder. Um, different to the all the mowers here, this one has a conditioner on it. And the conditioner works by help, it helps to remove the wax coating on the crop to add moisture stay for it quickly. The conditioner crop forms a large fluffy windows which allows air to circulate, promoting even faster drying. Overall, the buying process is so fast and significantly reduces the risk of the crop getting rain on, washing out tight to nutrients. Ultimately, you get a so, we now have the crop cut. Now, why are they going to be going? Because if you do it, it's not going to be going. So, we now need to get the hay crop turned over. And then we have the Massey 145, the red tractor with the blue Bamford side brick falling on behind. These were produced from about 1954 and it's sold with over 30,000 of these were produced and they're very very common on farms in the 50s and 60s here on the sea. Now you can see how it's working. It's what we call a long drive machine. So the way that the turning the mechanism works is that it's driven by the turning of the wheels of the machine. Very simple process, but obviously you need very strong wheels in order to work effectively. So we're just taking a look at the size of the turning wheels and gentlemen. So it's about what we put on it and compare it to the machine that's going on behind it, which is the John Deere and the loader. And I'll let him talk to you about that machine. Yeah, so here we have the John Deere 6120M, which was introduced in 2019. Uh, it's been a huge success for us, especially here in North Wales. It's been a great loader factor, nice and compact size, with a sole pump on it, great for this thing that's in North Wales. It's actually one of the factor of the year, the 2022, for the best utility factor. And this track is 5.68 turns, with 285 litres of fuel tank. Thank you, Hugh. So, we're on to the tether, which is a huge machine, a huge wide machine, as you can see on the back of that door here. So the tether still has the same job as that of the blue machine in front of it. Its job is to spread the gas all over the field, nice and thin, and evenly, so the sun and the wind can do what they need to do. Um, those machines are left in about 5 litres, right up to uh, 16 litres or like that. So, same job, just wider and wider to improve workability and power and reduce the cost of the work. The machines range in price anywhere from 7,000 pounds to about 30,000 pounds. And we'll be looking at achieving maybe 400 acres a day in the business world. is to collect the grass into a nice big slot so that the paver can lay this up. So going back to the 50s and 60s again, we have the Massey 550 along with the silver cap and what we call a high pump to that sort of side trick on the back. So this machine would collect the grass from two windows as they call them, from two rows into one so that the, the bailer could then go through the work quicker and 